Today's topic is pleural effusion. Pleural effusion is an excessive buildup of fluid in the pleural space, the space between the lungs and the chest cavity. The pleura is a thin membrane that covers or lines the outside of the lungs and the inside of the chest cavity. In healthy lungs, there is always a small amount of liquid within this lining to help lubricate the lungs and prevent friction as the lungs expand and contract during breathing. The seriousness of pleural effusion depends on the cause, whether it affects breathing and whether it can be treated effectively. Pleural effusion can be classified into transudative pleural effusions and exudative pleural effusion. Transudative effusion is caused by fluid leaking into the pleural space due to disorders that cause a low blood protein count or increased pressure in the blood vessels. The most common cause of the transudative effusion is a congestive heart failure. Exudative effusion is typically produced by inflammatory disorders, such as cancers, traumatic injuries, and infections. This type is usually serious and hard to treat. People with the condition must seek immediate medical attention, as it can be life-threatening if left untreated. Serious complications of pleural effusion may include infection or bleeding, partially collapsed lungs, lung scarring or empyema, or a collection of pus within the pleural space. Causes A wide range of conditions can cause pleural effusion. Conditions associated with transudative effusion include congestive heart failure, myexedema, end-stage kidney failure, acute atelectasis, liver cirrhosis, nephrotic syndrome, Melg's syndrome, obstructive uropathy, peritoneal dialysis. Conditions associated with the exudative effusion include trauma, paraneumonic effusion due to pneumonia, infections, pulmonary infarction, pulmonary embolism, autoimmune disorders, cancer, pancreatitis, ruptured esophagus, drug-induced lupus. Other unclassified causes may include tuberculosis, rheumatoid arthritis, mesothelioma, medical and surgical interventions, including the use of medications, abdominal surgery, coronary artery bypass surgery, radiation therapy, liver or lung transplantation, and endoscopic variceal sclerotherapy. Symptoms. Sometimes symptoms may not be present. If symptoms exist, they may include shortness of breath, fever, dry cough, chest pain, persistent hiccups, difficulty with physical activities, difficulty breathing, especially when lying down. Diagnosis. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will carry out a physical examination. During the physical examination, the doctor will listen to your lungs with a stethoscope. To confirm the diagnosis, the doctor may order the following tests. CT scan, chest ultrasound, pleural fluid analysis, bronchoscopy, pleural biopsy. Treatment. Treatment option for pleural effusion depends on the underlying condition. Treatment options may include Initial treatment involves draining the fluid from the chest cavity, either with a needle or small tube inserted in the chest. For pleural effusion caused by congestive heart failure, diuretics and other heart failure medications may be recommended. Antibiotics may be used where there is an infectious cause. Some pleural effusion may require pleurodesis. In this procedure, different medications are injected into the pleural space in order to scar the visceral and the pleural spaces together, preventing the reaccumulating of fluid between them. In severe cases, surgery may be carried out. During surgery, the doctor inserts a small tube or shunt into the chest cavity. This helps redirect the fluid from the chest to the abdomen, where it can be more easily drained from the body. In certain cases, the surgical procedure may include removing part of the pleural lining, known as pleurectomy. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.